when you talk about Made in Kenya, and I'm glad that I was part of the team that was prepared the Made in Kenya initiative for, for the government uh, when I was at the Fashion Council and through with Keproba, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, and we did come up with a document. And this was basically to uh, ensure that everybody wears something that is local, Buy Kenya, Build Kenya initiative, which again was to help people understand that we need to first of all celebrate yourself at home, as Flora was saying, dig deep before you go wide. What do we have? Can we appreciate? Because also when you try your hands at home, you can make mistakes. The moment you start going global or going wide, you can, all your order will be back. So at least you have a chance to at least test something from home. So this was an initiative that still continues and it is working. It has worked. Uh, uh, any, all of you in the room, are you wearing anything local? Raise up your hand. Yes. All those wearing local, let's clap for the ones wearing local. <laughs> If you're not wearing local, you're not building Kenya. And we want to, and <coughs> Flora is reminding me it's a Friday initiative. No, we need to wear Kenya every day. <laughs> and, and sometimes we even had an issue where what, what, is it, what does it mean to buy Kenya, build Kenya? It's, it's not just the printed African material. It could, your, well, <laughs> it could be an earring you're wearing. It's made in Kenya, you're wearing a made in Kenya. It could be a shoe, it could be a bag, it could be a bracelet. I think we have done very well with the bracelet all over the world. So it's just what every day as you walk out, and that's something that has sunk because I came up, we were part of that document. Every time I'm in the supermarket, I'm reminded, am I Melvin's tea? Uh, you know, you have, to, I'm conscious about what am I building? Am I putting money into a Kenyan pocket? Okay. And that's what we need to transfer to the African continent as well. Thank you.